what's up? Today we're gonna to be talking about money. You may have decided that you wanted to go to medical school and great, but now how are you gonna pay for it? Some people come from super wealthy families and if you do, that's awesome. Others work to save up for medical school, but if you're like me and you don't have a job or you didn't work before and you don't wanna rely on your parents to pay for your schooling, there are other options. So today I'm going to be telling you how I personally pay for medical school. Let's start with some basics. On Bastyr's website, they have a tuition and fees section and it lists how much it costs for a, your first year of naturopathic medical school. So your first year includes fall, winter, and spring and that's about 76 credit hours worth. They put that tuition and fees for your first year costs around 35,000. And then on top of like books and other equipment, you're gonna get up to 41,000 total for your first year at naturopathic medical school. That is a lot of money. However, I was looking at my own personal billing um, information and I basically have taken out around $70,000 worth um, of loans to pay for my first and second year so far. <sighs> yeah. I'm in a lot of debt, not gonna lie, that is the reality of it all. So let's jump right into loans. Loans are my main source of income right now. I am taking out government loans, and this includes unsubsidized federal direct loans and graduate plus loans. With the unsubsidized loans, there is a lifetime cap of $224,000. And then with the graduate plus loans, there's no cap at all, so you can take out as much as you want as long as you have additional documents that you provide saying that you need this money. So to apply for government loans, you have to go to FAFSA, which stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. And there are certain eligibility requirements before you can get loans. I have to take out both because unsubsidized is not enough for living expenses. Most of the money that I get from unsubsidized goes directly to paying for tuition at best year and then I'm left over with just a few thousand dollars and that's enough for one month of rent. My rent costs $2,100 a month just for a one bedroom, one bath. It's really expensive here living in California compared to what I'm used to back in upstate New York. A one bedroom, one bath, maybe 600, 700 bucks. But I mean, it's a really good location. I'm three minutes away from school and I'm 10 minutes from the beach. So I think it's kind of worth it. And I don't have to deal with traffic every morning or when I go home from classes. Luckily for medical students, we have loan forgiveness programs. So I have to do more research on them. I will probably do that at some point this year because I'm gonna be graduating next year. So I need to figure that out right now. For instance, there are several loan forgiveness programs, but for one of them, you can work for an under or a nonprofit organization. And I think you work for them for about 10 years or so, a certain amount of years. And then you pay off your loans while you're working for them. After that, you don't have to pay any more of your loans. That's kind of a relief to think about because otherwise I'm gonna be paying student loans for the rest of my life. So we'll see. And I'll keep you guys updated. I'll probably post another video later on talking more about that. So another alternative to government loans are private loans. Not something I would really recommend because private loans are not included in the loan forgiveness programs. You have to take out government loans in order to be eligible for the loan forgiveness programs. Also, there's this thing called work study that you can do if you are really freaking out about taking out a lot of loans and having to pay back a lot of money. I know a few of my classmates also do the work study, but basically you're just given money that you don't have to pay back after you graduate. Also, if you're in the military and you're interested in going to naturopathic medical school, I know that there are some veterans educational benefit programs that you can use to also pay for your tuition. And of course, there are always scholarships that you can apply for and that's free money basically that you don't have to pay back to anyone. And Best Year offers a lot of those ranging from $1,500 to $6,000. All right guys, that is all I have for you today. As always, if you're liking my videos, hit the little thumbs up below. And to all my new subscribers, I see you and I love all you guys. Thank you for the support. And to everyone who's new to my channel and liking my videos, please hit subscribe, stay up to date with all my new videos. I try to post once a week. Bye guys.